Question 6, part 1 of Pure Mathematics 2 Sample Assessment Paper for the International A Level. Um, a logarithms question. Find the exact value of x for which log to the base 2 of 2x equals log to the base 2 of 5x plus 4 minus 3. Okay, so here we have a question about logarithms. And what we have to do when you've got a situation like this is we have to try to combine the log terms together as one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the log terms together on one side of the equation. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. So I'll say log to the base 2 of 2x minus log to the base 2 of 5x plus 4 is equal to minus 3. Okay, in fact, what I'll do to make life a bit less complicated is I will do the opposite. I will make this 3 equals and I'll say log to the base 2 of 5x plus 4 minus log to the base 2 of 2x. Just what I like to make life easier for us. We'll have a, a positive number here rather than a negative number. So we can say 3 is equal to. Now we're going to use the law of logarithms, which is such that the log of a minus the log of b, if they're the same base, for example, let's call it the base y, okay, is equal to the log to that same base of a over b. Okay, so the subtraction law uh, gives you a division. So here you're going to have log to the base 2 of the quotient of these two. So it's 5x plus 4 divided by 2x. Okay, so now what I'm going to use is the basically the understanding that log to the base a of b what am I doing? log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten in index form where this is the power so that's going to give you a to the power of c equals b that's the base that's the power that's the result so i can say this is 2 to the power of 3 equals this so we can say 5x plus 4 divided by 2x will be the same as 2 to the power of 3 2 cubed which is 8 okay so i end up with 5x plus 4 is equal to, that's 8 times 2x, which is 16x, uh, yeah, 16x, 2 to the power of 3, remember, is equal to 8. So then I can solve this equation, x, 4 is equal to 16x minus 5x, that's 11x, so 4 is equal to 11x, therefore x is equal to 4 over 11. And there we have. Now in an exam, of course, you don't have the answer or the, the mark scheme. So if you wanted to make sure in the exam and you had time, you wanted to make sure that you got the right answer, you could do so quite easily by just substituting this back into the original equation and seeing if it actually uh, made the left hand and the right hand side equal. So for example, the left hand side will be log to the base 2 of 4 times x, or 4 times, oh, sorry, 2 times x, 2 times uh, x, which is 4 over 11. Right, that gives you this value, minus 4.594. So let's store that as A so we can remember what it is. And let's see what happens when we do the same thing on the other side. Just substitute instead of x, 4 over 11. So log to the base 2 okay, of 5 uh, times 4 over 11. And then take a, a plus 4. And then add 3 to that. And you get... 5 times, oh sorry, take away 3, what am I doing? Sorry about that. Take away 3 from that, I got a bit worried there, that's minus 3 there you see. And that gives you exactly the same thing. If we recall our answer that we stored, we call A, A is equal to exactly the same thing. If I just take that away for you to be sure, recall A, it's exactly the same thing. So we can see that this answer is correct. It actually makes both of those sides the same. And it says find the exact value. So we don't want to round that or write it as a decimal. If you wanted to, actually, 4 over 11, I think it becomes a recurring decimal. 4 divided by 11, it's going to give you 0 0.363636. If you wanted to write it as 0 0.36 with a dot in both of these to show that that repeats, you could. That's also exact value. But generally, when they say exact value, what they mean is an exact fraction, not as a decimal or in terms of pi or whatever. Okay, so that is the answer to part one. And now we're going to go on to
part two. Okay, so it says given that log to the base a y plus three log to the base a two equals five, express y in terms of a giving your answer in its simplest form. So we got to express y in terms of a. So that means the answer in the end must say y equals and something with a in it. Okay, that's how it should be. Y in terms of a, that's what it means. Okay, so let's again do the same thing. Let's combine these together. Now, I cannot combine these together right now because it says 3 log a2. So I'm going to use the power law, which is basically if I have a times log to the base b, c, I can write that as log to the base c, b of c to the power of a. That multi what multiplies here can become the power. That's one of the laws of logarithm. So what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to write this as log to the base a of 2 cubed. So I have log to the base a y plus log to the base a of 2 cubed equals 5. And we know that 2 cubed is 8. So I can write this as log to the base a y plus log to the base a of 8 equals 5. Now I can join these together. These are added so I can use the addition law. So the addition law, like for example, if I have log to the base b of a plus log to the base b of c, I can write that as log to the same base b of a times c. So I can do the same thing here. I can write this as log to the base a of y times 8, which is 8 to y. And that's equal to 5. And now I can use the the definition of a logarithm that this is the base, this is the power, and this is the result. So I can say hy is equal to a to the power of 5. Therefore, I want to make y the subject. y is equal to a to the power of 5 over 8. So I've made y the subject of this formula, and I've expressed y in terms of a. And that's the answer to this question.